So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this bump chart. It's the chart that you see here, which is basically a way to show different rankings over time. So this is rank and this is time and this is uh, different traffic sources for a YouTube channel. OK, so we're going to do that using Charticulator, which is a tool that is free to use. And then you can export these into any format you like and use it anywhere. OK. So with that said, how about we get started? Charticulator.com, click on launch. And the first thing that is going to ask is for data. So I have here a file that gives us the month, the type of traffic and the ranking. The ranking is already done in here. So click done. And the, the first thing we need to do is the elements for this chart. The elements for this chart is the actual dots. There are dots, they're not rectangles. So we're going to drop a dot into our canvas. And you see them displayed here. And then in this axis, we want to have the month name. And in this one, we want to have the ranking. OK, so we want to have the rank upside down. So you are going to go to the actual plot segment, which is the, you know, the actual the, the axis of the chart. And we're going to inverse. This is not intuitive a lot at all. It looks actually like a minus one instead of one. But if you invert the values, you see that it gets inverted here. Next thing we're going to do is the symbol we want to have filled by the traffic uh, type. You can see them here. And then we want to link the dots. So we want to have for each color to have a, a line that links them. So we go here to links and linked by traffic sort, source, create the links. And it's starting to look familiar, right? So the next things that you can see here is that instead of having a legend here, it actually has a leading legend. So if we go here to chart calculator, we're going to do the same. We're going to drop the text and we're going to put it in there. And we want to have the text is going to be our traffic source. And as you can see, it gets repeated everywhere. We don't want that for sure. We don't want that. So if we go to, let me see, I always find that tricky to find. Where is it? Condition Y. Uh, and then it is month name clear. And then we're going to keep the last one. I'm not sure if this is hard coding it December. And we want to have the color the same as the traffic size. You see? Then the title, we can call it the bomb chart. There you go. And now you can play with the look and feel of the things. I'm not sure. How, I don't know how to remove the 1.5. I looked everywhere and I cannot see where I can put like no idea. So if you find it, let me know in the comment box. Anyhow, the actual symbols we can do you know the circle we can do it bigger that's a little bit too big maybe we could have like a bigger and then put the text here with the value like one 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 why not not going to do that we're actually going to do the links do it a little bit thicker how about that and then the line we're going to choose so it gets a little bit rounded. So once we have that, we see that there's no place for the legend. So let's move it inside. And this is basically how it looks. So it is actually very, very easy to do. And as always, you can export to HTML as an image, as a Power BI visual. There are lots and lots of ways to reduce this beautiful visual. So let me know what you think in the comment box. Try it out and I'll see you again in the next video. Until then.